really weird angle for this reading update because my background is lit up by my window and it's just like being really annoying so we're gonna do it at this angle it's really weird i know i've been reading more do by alex phoebe because in the month of february i really want to finish this book i started it last month and i only got a little bit in because i got distracted by elantris and that's what i was focusing on so yeah i didn't think i was going to be finishing it this quick because honestly, kind of at the beginning of this book, I was not enjoying it a lot. It was pretty, um, I don't know. I was just like kind of bored. I was like kind of confused. Um, I feel like that the, the world building was just confusing me a little bit. It wasn't, I don't know. It just confused me. I don't want to say that it wasn't great, good world building because maybe it's just me not understanding but you know yeah I just wasn't really into it uh, I thought that the story was kind of boring I didn't really understand where it was going but really that was just part one once once I got to a certain part in part one like uh it was like I was like okay I'm like getting kind of into this like I, I can get with this I can like the characters a little more. Once I got to part two, this book like completely changed. Like it got like crazy and I kind of just started binge reading it. Like I read a lot of this yesterday, honestly. Um, but I am on page 432 I just made it to the interlude there's like an interlude between part two and part three um that's like really long honestly um because the chapters in this are really short there's 100 chapters and they're just really short and then there's like the interlude um this book is so on Goodreads it's saying it's like 600 and something but that's including the glossary I'm not going to just read the fucking glossary. Like, sorry if you do that. I will not be doing that. I don't need to do that. Okay. Um, but the actual length of the story is 512. And I'm on page 432. So I'm like literally almost done. I'm going to finish it tonight. That's my goal. Um, but I've been enjoying it a lot more from the beginning the beginning like the first like 150 pages I would say maybe even just the first 100 pages but maybe closer to 150 we're just like not my fave I was like this is like maybe a three star but now I'm like <sighs> because I have been enjoying it so much I almost want to rate it a four But because of like how long it took me to get into the book as well as, which that's not always like a bad thing, but in this case, it just like wasn't working for me. Um, and also because I'm not like super attached to the main character or really any of the characters. Um, like I like kind of got, I don't know, like I'm just not really into the characters. Like they're fine. I like kind of feel bad for like our main character, you know, and all this shit. We've gone through like I'm feeling emotions towards them. They're just, I'm not like super attached to them, you know, like it's like, okay, you know. So I think I'm... Right now, I'm leaning towards a 3.5, which is so good because I'm still enjoying the book a lot. It's just I'm not really, like, that attached to the characters or even really, yeah, I'm just not attached to the characters. I'm not really attached to what's going on, you know, but I have been enjoying it. It's really interesting. The world is, like, now that there has been more world building and more, like, explanation of what's going on. I enjoy it more and like 
I don't know. I'm having like conflicting. I think I'm going to end up reading this 3.5. Of course, I'll tell you once I finish the book. But yeah, this is like a series. I don't know how many there's going to be. There's a second one that's already out. But I probably will just wait to read it till it comes out on paperback. Because this paperback, this is like one of the reasons I want to buy it. This is a good floppy book. Like, look how floppy. This is like my Dune book. My Dune has, my first Dune book has one of the best flops. And this book has a really good flop. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons I wanted it. And the cover, it's just beautiful. But yeah, that's my update. Um, I haven't really read anything else. Oh, I did start off the month by reading three volumes of JJK. Um, I read volume um, 14, 15, and 16. Um, I'm currently reading volume 17. And that's all I have that I own. I only own up to volume 17. So I'm either going to have to borrow them from the library or buy them which I want to buy them eventually obviously but I don't know if I'll want to immediately continue after I finish um this volume um I honestly just read those um three because I was at work and bored and I just borrowed them on Libby really quick because they were all available and read them at work but for volume 17 there was like a few week wait so I didn't end up reading it at work and I came home and started reading it and that's when I realized that that was the last one I had so yeah this is like the beginning of the vlog I realized so cut to me later but welcome to this week's vlog show you what I kind of think I might read let me go grab I don't know how much I'm actually going to, like, get done reading-wise. Um, let me change angles here a little bit. Oh my god, I should have been doing it from this angle the entire time. Anyways, I don't know, like, how much reading I'm actually going to, like, get done this weekend. I would like to get a lot done. I would love to get a lot of reading done, you know? Um, but sometimes it's just not how it goes. However, so I want to finish reading... Volume 17 of JJK, Jujutsu Kaisen. This is the cover. Very nice, yes. Um, I'm like almost halfway through. So, that's where I'm at. My bookmark. I'm using um, an Unsealy bookmark. If you haven't read that, I recommend it. I love that book. Um, I also want to finish more do. We've been talking about this. Want to finish this this weekend? Um, yeah, my bookmark for this book is Drag Fact. In life, your vampire may have been a werewolf or a sorcerer or both. And it's this little drawing of a, um, vampire werewolf sorcerer. I got this at my library. My local library, they had these, um, to give out. So, that's what I'm using for that. Um, I also would like to at least start, if not, get a good chunk of the way through or finish um, Beautiful Darkness by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Um, this is the second book in the Caster Chronicles. Um, first book being Beautiful Creatures. Read that last month. It was a reread. This whole series is a reread. Um, but I love this series. This was my favorite book series um in high school middle school um so I really want to read this this month um so I would like to get it somewhat read if not all of it that would be really cool um I don't know how long this book is let's find out 503 pages in this which honestly is not bad um especially because it's not like super big words this is a YA so YAs tend to not have like super tiny words on the on the pages. Um, I do remember not liking this one a lot when I read the series, so I'm like, 
kind of like not wanting to read it but I also do really want to read it because it's been a long time since I read it I might have changed my feelings on it I think I only had ever reread the first one like multiple times I don't think I read any of the other books in the series again besides the one time I read it so I am excited to reread this um the bookmark I'm going to be using for this book I got this one at half price books um the other day and it's just like this um cool looking house thing with like trees and it's just cute and it's got a yellow ribbon at the top now if i do finish all of those and i want to read more i have um some more options so the options are i'm also on my tbr is the percy jackson um the Sea of Monsters, the second book in the Percy Jackson series. Um, I'm finally reading the series. Never read it. I only ever read the first book. I had started reading. I don't know if I ever actually finished this one. I feel like I might have, but also at the same time, I don't think I did. Um, I definitely did not read past this one if I did read it. Um, so this is on my TBR. I'm waiting for the audiobook. Um, I have a hold on it on Libby. Waiting on that. It might be a while. It seems like it might be. So I might not even get to read this this month. I mean, like, I could read it without the audiobook. But like I said, I just like to have the audiobook. Okay? I think that's not too much to ask. Also, on my TBR this month is Children of Dune, the third book in the Dune series. I have been loving the Dune series. Um, The first book was really good. The second one was... I loved Dune Messiah, okay? People might not agree with me on that, but I don't care. I loved that book. Sorry. This is also my TBR. Um, so I want to read this at some point. If I don't get to it this weekend, obviously, that is okay. Um, there are 477 pages, which is shorter than, like, most of these books. So possibly start this i have the audiobook already for this one so we're good how many pages does um sea of monsters have sea of monsters is really short so okay i was like are there no pages like i don't even think this is 300 pages no it's um 279 pages so like i could read this this weekend easy in a day um, but I don't know if that'll happen. I really do like to have the audiobook. Okay, judge me if you want. I don't care. Last option of books for this month that I'm giving myself, which I have other options, but I am excited to read all these, so I feel like I will stick to these books, but Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer this book could fucking kill someone like it's fucking heavy as fuck like this is a big book like it might look like a normal size book and like that's like not terrible look how tall this book is like why is this book this tall like it's tall it's fat it's like the words are like not like big like they're like pretty like that's not like normal so let's see how many pages this bad boy is 658 pages still shorter than breaking dawn so yeah that's honestly like not that bad it's just so tall <laughs> as well i do also already have the audiobook for this because it's on spotify um for free well included in premium so yeah so i have audiobook for this i have audiobook for this to read and i have audiobook for this to read so theoretically all of these could possibly be read soon um there's no way i could read all of these in a weekend because these are all like 500 plus page books but maybe at least one of them 
if not like a good chunk or two of them. That's what I would tell myself. Anyway. I wanted to do just a little bit of a update kind of. Um, first, I don't think I showed this on a vlog. If I have, I'll delete this clip. But this is some book mail that I got the other day. Um, this is a copy of a book that I really, really love. It's one of my favorite books that I read last year. Probably have read for like a while. It's really good. Um, I actually first read this book because my roommate works at Barnes & Noble. So they get arcs of books um, that they get to take home and read. So she had brought this arc home and I borrowed it from her to read. And I loved it so much. And that is Unseelie by Ivelisse Hausman. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if that is not how you pronounce the name. I'm so sorry. Um, and this was her debut novel. And I loved this book so much. But this is a part of a duology. The second book is not out yet. This book came out last year. Um, and I think the second one is supposed to be coming out next year in 2025. Um, she's already released the name. It's going to be called Unending. And I think it's going to be focusing more on her sister. But like both of them too. But we're going to get her point of view too. Instead of just um, Celie's point of view. We're also going to get Isolo Isoldi's point of view. I think that's how you say her name. I'm not sure. I'm terrible at name pronunciation. But I love this book. I think it's very beautifully written. I think it's very... I just really connected. Because... But I ordered this of a Macari used. Because it's signed. <laughs> and it says, Magic has a cruel sense of humor, which is a quote from the book, and then it's her signature. Um, that's the main reason I ordered this. I really wanted to buy this book in paperback. I was waiting for the paperback to come out, which is it is now, now. Because I just am not a huge fan of hardbacks I actually just don't like hardbacks um and this one just had a little bit of damage like literally this is it this is tiny tear and I kind of thought it was more from the pictures but I got the book and I was looking at it and I was like I literally don't see anything else wrong with this book besides this this tiny corner so yeah so I bought this it also came with the pre-order gifts which was the sticker that says magic has a cool sense of humor and it has the sisters you know pinky promise and also came with a bookmark that has some art on it that's um Seely and then her sister I solo um I day and then um I think his name is Raze it's been a while since I read this book I literally read this at the beginning of last year Raze is the boy up here and this is Alani which is the other character um yeah, it's really beautiful and then the back is like a map which is really cute so yeah that was some book mail that i got that i'm really excited about i also want to show you the um book cover i finally finished crocheting it's so cute i love the yarn i use this one's like really big i accidentally made it like huge which is fine i have like my and the book thing and then the book that I'm currently reading, which is Beautiful Darkness, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, because I've read a little bit of that. But I wanted this one to be big so I could fit like bigger books in it too, and also multiple books, because I do tend to carry multiple books with me a lot of the time because sometimes I'm a mood reader. So sometimes I'm not always in the mood for just one book. So I bring options with me. Um, but I love the yarn I use, but I got this one for Christmas. I just really liked um, the blue and like the muted like red orange color with this like purpley brown and this like cream. I don't know. It just looks really nice. I really like it. And then I added a little tag of my um, Etsy shop name. So I do sell stuff. I'm going to be making um, book covers to sell. This one's just like a bigger one. I think I'll have different sizes. I think I'll have like a normal book size and then like these ones where you can fit multiple, multiple books or like a bigger book. I made this one based off of my Midnight Sun book because this book is huge. I think I talked about this earlier. It's just really tall and it's also like just a big boy. Um, and it's, this is still like kind of too small for it. 
but also like it does the job like it's in there it's just yeah like it's tall enough which is the main issue here because it's so fucking tall um it's just because it's tall and thick it does like kind of like it can stretch you know and cover but yeah um, I, I'm going to make book covers to put on my shop right now, though, on my shop. If you do want to support me, I um, am selling Harry Potter house theme cat hats for $25. And then I also have on there um, some Christmas, Christmas dish towels, um, which I'm going to be putting on sale. I have them on them for $10. I think I'm going to put them on sale for $5 so I can get rid of the stock that I have of them. And then I have some like four leaf clover keychains on there for like three dollars. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be linked below. Um, it's Caster Creations on Etsy. C Caster Creations Co. on Etsy, but um, I'll have my like Instagram for that down below as well. Um, but like my Etsy will be linked down below. Um, so stay on the lookout for some book covers I think I want to make like book themed book covers um but also just like you know book covers and like also um I think it'd be really cool to make like Hogwarts house themed ones too you know anyways yeah that's what I made let's talk about this I started reading it this morning I haven't read a whole lot just a little bit I'm on page 41. Um, they don't have chapter numbers. It's just like the date and the name of the chapter. So I can't tell you like what chapter I'm on. Um, but page 41, there's like 503 pages. So I haven't made it super far. Um, right now it's just like sad. You know, the beginning of this book is sad. And then I know this book is gonna. I'm so worried about how mad this book is going to make me because I know the first time I read it I was so mad during this book. Um, I do have one annotation here. I don't really plan on anything in this book. Um, it was just this line that I just, uh, when I read it, I went, oh, I'll read it to you. <laughs> that face was amazing. Um, because I just love Ethan and Lena so much. Like, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's like the first like relationship like fictional relationship that I read that I just got like so attached to and I just loved them so much but it was just Ethan talking about Lena and literally it's one line it's just I loved her atom by atom one burning cell at a time and I'm like oh. wow because spoiler alert if you haven't read this um whenever like they touch like he feels like shock like pain um because of her powers which they don't know about that yet entirely it's just because right now like mortals and casters can't be together so it's like a forbidden thing and that's why that happens so at the time i think they were kissing or just touching and he was feeling that and he shoot and he was just like i loved her out of my atom one burning cell at a time and i'm like shut the fuck up but yeah so i think that's really um the only time I'll like do something like this is just if there's like a line that I just absolutely like just loved and just highlight and just put a little tab there so I can go back and look at it later but because I didn't annotate the first one I do I do have some lines in there like underlined and stuff from when I read it the like had rerun read it in high school but I never like put like tabs and stuff and I didn't do that while I was rereading it because it's just too much brain power that I wasn't willing to sacrifice um I'm not like mad at it yet though and I am enjoying it I do plan on reading more of this today um I would like I would like to at least get to page 100 if, just to do another reading update for you um I have read some more of Beautiful Darkness I did make it up to a, page 108 which my goal was to at least make it to page 100 today so I am happy about that um yeah it's it's okay so far um, like I enjoy it I just I just remember being mad at Lena like this whole book and I'm not really mad because like I'm like mad but like 
I understand. It's just like kind of annoying, but that's okay. Um, it's fine. It's I'm enjoying it still for the most part. Um, but yeah, I might read more tonight. I'm not so sure. I'm gonna take a break. I've been more so listening to it because I've been crocheting. Um, so I've been like listening to it for like an hour. And that's how far I got. I've been crocheting another book sleeve with this like orange yarn. I'm really excited about it. I also got this yarn for Christmas. So I'm excited about it. I'm making this one like a normal size um, book sleeve instead of like the giant one I made. Um, so it'll be more like around this size ish, maybe a little bit bigger, but yeah, I also, I don't know. I think when I showed you earlier, it was just it by itself, but I did end up adding a button and a little clasp. So if I have like a book that's not, that's like too smaller than this, cause this is like my bigger version um I can like double wrap this around the button and then if I have a bigger book in it it fits like around it so I like I put my midnight sun one on in here and it goes over it it's a little bit pushing it I would say but it still works so that's good and then I have my little tag like on the back and that's where I'm keeping it but yeah it's really cute I'm really happy with it um, and I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. Snack. My head is kind of hurting. Maybe if I have a snack and maybe I'll take some Advil and see if that helps. And then maybe I'll read a little bit more before I, I go to sleep. But kind of also, I kind of want to start this. I don't know why. I'm just kind of feeling in a twilight mood definitely do want to read more of this this weekend on my time off so we'll see we'll see how I feel we'll see how I feel quick reading update I did in fact end up starting midnight sun I am now on Page 73, Chapter 4, Visions. And now I'm just trying to decide if I want to read one more chapter because the next chapter is kind of short. Or if I want to just get on my phone for the rest of the night. Obviously, it's, like, kind of weird right now because he, like, hates her, but now he's, like, interested and he's, like, confused as to why he's so interested in her. I don't know. I still love it. I just love him. And I love these characters. Which is, like, silly because it's Twilight. But it's true. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm obsessed with Twilight, we all know it. As cringy and fucking whatever the fuck it is, I just love it. I think I am gonna put it down for the night though, I am pretty tired. I do kind of wanna do some stuff on my phone before I go to sleep. So yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow um, with more reading stuff. <laughs> I just need to talk about this book for a second because I've been listening to it slash reading it a little bit this morning. And I just made it to page 149. <laughs> Lena is being so annoying. And I have talked about this already, that this is why I didn't love this book the first time I read it, because I just got so mad 
because she's just being stupid. She's being stupid, okay? And this is spoilers, just so you know, but literally she is being so dramatic and like I understand she's going through shit, but she's also being a fucking bitch to Ethan, okay? And barely talking to him, literally avoiding him, actually. And whenever they're finally talking and, you know, whatever, for the first time, his new friend, that's a girl, comes up because they were hanging out because Lena has been avoiding him not in a romantic way, literally strictly friends. Like they do not have any romantic interests towards each other in the slightest. And she gets mad and doesn't even try to explain. And it's just like, meh, 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 meh. and I know there's probably some, cause I don't remember exactly. Cause it's been a while since I've read it, but I know that there's probably some type of like dark energy coming to her over this and like making her feel these things maybe it's Ridley like you know making her feel things but it's silly and I'm getting mad and I don't want to read because it just it's stupid it's stupid which I'm going to but it's stupid I did it add another tab <laughs> like I said I'm literally only doing like random things and yeah I'm on page 149 tunnel of love um I was looking at it um at the audiobook and it looks like this entire book takes place in the month of June literally mostly taking over like a couple days it looks like starting from June 15th to about the 20th is like the main part of the book June 18th to June 20th which is like kind of crazy but it makes sense like kind of remembering what was going on in this book from before but yeah I just wanted to talk about that because I just read the last chapter and it made me so angry because of that and I just needed to rant about it because it's stupid and I hate I hate people like that just fucking anyways I'm giving you a reading update. It's a pretty good one, I feel like. Like, I feel like I've done, like, I've been fucking cranking on these books, let me tell you. But I finished Beautiful Darkness today, which is book two in my reread of the Caster Chronicles. Beautiful Creatures is the first one. You may know that by that. Um, this was my favorite book growing up. I'm, we've talked about all this, but, you know, yeah, I marked a couple places in it, just a couple, I didn't really want to, like, fully annotate it, I just wanted, you know, there were just a couple moments, I was like, I just, like, want to mark that, you know, so, that's just, like, what those are, so I rated this a 3.5, rounded up to a 4 on Goodreads, Here's the thing. There are things that I really like about this book. And there are things that just make me really angry. <laughs> um, I didn't like this one the first time I read it. So I was like weary going into this anyways. And it just was like, yeah. It's the same thing. It's like, uh, spoilers, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Like, Lena and... Ethan just like them arguing and like being fucking just like petty against each other it's just like annoying like I get that they were just trying to add some angst to their relationship but it was just like unnecessary let's be for real like I just couldn't deal with it I just feel like we could have avoided some of this like I feel like it was just like like, I don't know if it was really needed for the plot. Like, I understand why it was in there for the plot. But it also was like, did we really have to do it the way we did it? You know? 
Anyways, I digress. Um, some things I really liked. Fucking, I completely forgot about Wink becoming an incubus. And when that started happening, I was like, oh, I do remember this. But I was like, oh my god, this is like the best thing ever. Like, I like literally forgot. And I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I don't remember anything else if he stays this way or not. So that will be a surprise. There were a lot of things that I did forget about. I honestly forgot about the entire like tunnel situation uh, of them going in there and after them and everything and the great barrier and everything. But I thought that part was really interesting too. I thought that this book was a lot more like magic filled, which I really enjoyed. And I think too that it just just there was a little something extra in the magic in this one because I feel like the first one just it was a lot of Lena kind of shying away from those that kind of stuff thing um, I also forgot about Ethan being a wayward in that whole like plot line but that makes sense but like what happens in the next couple of books So I think I'm like actually really excited to continue into the next one. Um, so that's finished. Yeah, it was, you know, it was good for what it was. I have also made some good progress in this, I feel like, for also completing a 500 page book, okay? I've been like double demon okay I'm on page 246 chapter 12 that's pretty good okay that's how much I've read that's pretty good I feel like um I'm enjoying it okay I know the hate for this I do, and I get it. I know some people say that this book ruined Edward's character for them. I don't feel that way, at least not right now. Things could change with other things that happen, but I feel like we've known the red flags. We know the red flags. They've been there. We're just seeing them from that side and it's a little bit more uncomfortable sometimes you've known you know so it's like it's not really that like shocking I'm just like yeah that's what happens in the story um but yeah I'm really excited about this I'm really excited to see where else we're gonna go um there's like I don't know it's really interesting seeing Edward's side of things because we're just we're seeing things we didn't see with Bella. So, like, I'm, we're, like, getting behind the scenes, I feel like. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I'm excited to continue this. I feel like this is my stay-at-home read. Like, I don't really take this out to read. I, was, I always bring a book to work because I usually read on my lunch break. And, but I stay... I, like, stay in the break room on my lunch break. I don't go to my car or home or anything. Um, and I always read in there, and I'm like, I don't really want to, first off, bring this huge book to work. I don't even know if it will really fit in my bag. And also, I don't really know if I want people to see me reading this book. I'm not, like, ashamed. I'm a very um, passionate and known Twi hard, okay? Everyone knows me as a Twi hard. Like, that's my personality trait, okay? Um, that leads me into my next. And this is also, I don't know if I felt myself crocheting this or talked about me crocheting another book sleeve, but I did. And this was like this orange one. You can't really tell in this lighting, but I'm not gonna change it. But. 
It's got a little button and a latch. And it's really cute. And it's got my tag on the back. And this is my next read. I feel like I'm like pumping through my TBR right now on accident. But that's okay. And that's why we have extras. I have more books to read. Um, if I run out, if I slow down, but my next read is going to be Children of June. I have not started this at all. I'm going to be starting it fresh at work on my lunch break tomorrow. Hopefully that's the plan. Is it super long? I think this is actually like maybe the second shortest book on my TBR. Not sure about that. But it's only like it's like close to 500 pages. It's like 470 something. Um which is like so like almost 500 pages, which is about how much which beautiful darkness was 503. Um I think Midnight Sun is 600 and something. Um, but yeah, so. I'm going to be starting this tomorrow. Really excited to see where this is going to go. Let me read the back. Do you guys want to hear it? I'll read it to you. Okay, spoiler alert for people who are not here yet in the story if you're reading. This is going to spoil some stuff for the series. If you don't want to hear that, skip to this timestamp, okay? Now for the ones who don't care or have read this and want to listen to me talk about it, you may continue listening on. Okay. The children of Dune are twin siblings, Leto and... I do not know how to say that. I've listened to the audiobook. Ganema Atreides, whose father, the Emperor Paul Modib, disappeared in the desert wastelands of Arrakis nine years ago. Ooh. Nine years have passed. Okay. Like their father, the twins possess supernormal abilities, making them valuable to their manipulative aunt, Alia. Mmm who rules the empire in the name of House Atreides. See, like, you don't know this stuff until you go into the next book, which is, like, crazy. Okay. <clears throat> Facing treason and rebellion on two fronts, Aaliyah's rule is not absolute. The displaced House Corino is plotting to regain the throne, while the fanatical Fremen are being provoked into open revolt by the enigmatic igna figure known as the Preacher. Aaliyah believes that by obtaining the secrets of the twins' prophetic visions, she can maintain control over her dynasty. Belido and Ganema have their own plans for their visions and their destinies. It's like, oh my god, this sounds so good, actually. I really hope this one is good, because... That sounds really good. I really liked the, I really liked the first one. You know, it was a little slow. I loved the second one. The second one was so good. It was so good. So I'm really excited about this. I have high hopes. I'm here to do a reading update. I feel like that's literally the only time I get on here is when I'm filming a little update, but that's okay. Um, there is an update. I'm gonna use this one for the book. I love this bookmark. I think it's so cute. It's just some house. It's a house. Like some plants and there's like some gold foiling on it. I like the windows and make them look a little sparkly. I don't know if you see that. But yeah, it's really cute. I got this from Half Price Books. But I forgot a bookmark because I started this book at work today and I just like put it in my bag without thinking of grabbing a bookmark for it so but I made it up to page 43 um so not a lot has happened we're still in the very very beginnings of this book children of dune oh my god I don't know if I said that 
Children of Doom. That's what I'm talking about. I always am a little confused starting out at the beginning of these books because they just like throw you in like with no background information of how much time passed, what has happened in that time um, between the last book and this one. Because like there has been like a significant amount of time, I think, like years. It's been nine years actually. Um, which I'm sure that time will pass more in this book. Uh, it's still like pretty interesting. I'm enjoying seeing Lady Jessica again, even though I'm not quite sure her intentions and I'm not quite sure my feelings towards her. As well as I'm not quite sure my feelings towards Aaliyah. I know like a lot of things have been going on with her, it seems like. It seems like she's keeping a lot of secrets. I'm also curious about her relationship with Idaho now because they were like kind of like into each other in the last one. I don't know if they ever got together. So hopefully I figure that out soon because I am curious. I'm really excited honestly to see more of the twins and see what's like what their role is in all of this because I don't know I'm just really intrigued. Like I'm intrigued very much so. So yeah I might read more of this tonight. I might not. I might. I kind of had like a annoying day at work so if anything I'll probably I'll for sure read some more of this tonight because this is like my nighttime read because I'm like this is like fun <laughs> for me. Um, so yeah I'll definitely read more of this tonight. Don't know if I'll pick this one up tonight, but I will be taking it to work tomorrow, so I'll make it a little further in that way. I love this book cover. I think it turned out so cute. I love the orange. I don't think you could really see in the um, lighting when I showed it yesterday. It's my little tag. I wish I put the tag a little lower, which I guess I could just take it off and re-put it on there, but that's my Etsy shop. If you want to, well, it's Caster Creations Co. I always have a link down below. Um, I sell my crochet stuff on there, so, which I only have a couple things on there now, but if you guys want book covers on there, I would love to make those and put those on there, so. That's all for now. I'm sorry if you heard that fan in the background the whole time. We've been having issues in our bathroom with water leaking and the maintenance people put a fan in there so the ceiling will dry. Yeah, whole thing. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.